Uh, if you haven't registered to vote or updated your registration, the deadline is quickly approaching. Monday is the last day to mail off voter registration applications or to submit in person at the tax assessor's office. One million voters were purged from Texas voter rolls, so it's a good idea to double check your registration before Monday. Maya Caleb joins us in studio with more tonight on voter registration. Kimberly and Aaron, voter registration cards for Jefferson County can be found at the Dowlin and Walden Road post offices, local libraries, and the tax offices across the county. If you're already registered in Texas and need to change your address, that can be done online. If your registration application is postmarked by October 7th, it will still count and you will be registered. One million voters were purged due to deaths, felonies, moves out of the state, and other issues. The tax assessor and county clerk's offices are encouraging eligible voters to check their registration or register before Monday to avoid missing the deadline. 147,646 registered voters as of right now. Uh, that number does fluctuate daily because we are receiving a lot of voter registration applications. Um, in comparison to the 2020 election, we're right about the same number within a thousand of those of registered voters for the 2020 presidential election. If you're already registered to vote in the state of Texas, and you have moved and you need to just update your address, you can go to votetexas.gov and do that online. Early voting begins October 21st, but the deadline for mail-in ballot applications is October 25th. Information about voting locations and times, as well as how to check your registration or update your address will be on our website at kfdm.com.